back uh just had to go figure out our orders for five guys since we've been here all day so we have that ooh nice hit from fraud there nice forward smash getting the kill there on a high percentage saber so this is the kirby ditto two best kirby's in our area two of the best pm only players the other top notch pm only player is going to be joining me on the mic right now his name's gertie i'm, I'm not that good I got beat by him. Uh, well, that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. You did pick Olimar game one. That so. is true. And then I went Mario and you have camps me. Yeah, yeah. I realized that uh, just playing stupid and campy was a good choice there. <laughs> I, I didn't enjoy doing it, but I kind of did. Yeah, you did. You enjoyed it. I felt dirty and it was great. <laughs> so nice, were, uh, nice spacing from both players. This is looking really even right now. Yeah. I mean, these are two, like, this is an even matchup, and I feel like both of them know their... Well, no, no, I mean, like, in terms of the player strength, like, these are two players who are very evenly matched. Yeah. Like, even though we don't see a lot of Saber, like, Saber is one of the best PM players in our area. Yeah, he and very, very nearly beat me. I'm in... Third? You're top four, that's all I yeah, really know. Yeah, top four. And since we only have like 30 people on the ladder, and like half of them don't even play ever. Yeah, half of them don't exist. That was really so. unfortunate. Right there. <laughs> Trading taunts. <laughs> what I've noticed both of these players like to do is they like to threaten you with their... They like to threaten you with their um, hammer a lot. The yeah. hammer's really, really an important um, spacing tool for Kirby. I feel like the hammer and uh, using the up B, the forward up B, yeah. uh, after a short hop, like, we're just, because they can act out of it, so it's hard to, like, punish after they approach, I feel like. Yeah. At least with, like, a non-projectile option. It's really easy to punish with projectiles, but... Yeah, I learned that. Yeah. You did You did a lot of that. Yeah. He didn't know how to deal with that. Hammers everywhere. Oh, wow. swallows him up. He didn't even steal his Kirby powers. All of and then he gets punished. Yeah, that was really good. Really good play by both players. Uh, I think you're three out of five. Yeah, it's three out of five. Um, was that was who won that? Did Frog win that? They're both Kirby's. I don't know who wins. Who won? Who just won? Game? You did okay. Oh, nice. 
Um, Saber is currently ranked lower than Fod. That's partially because he's never here. It's also because number five, I don't think it showed up to. Oh no, no, Pow did show up to one p.m. event. One. A single p.m. Him. event. No, he started at fifth, and they played one p.m. event where he. Nobody knew he was going to be there, so he didn't get challenged by anyone and didn't hit anyone who could challenge him in bracket. So, like, I'm just considering Saber for all intents and purposes, five. Yeah. And because Mike's not here, uh, all the top four matches, because those would be the show matches afterwards, the latter show matches, um, I'm doing all of them throughout it. All of them are happening throughout a five, regardless. Okay. Uh... Both of these players play pretty similarly. Really, I disagree. I, I feel like in this in Kirby vs. Kirby, they have a similar tendencies. But I think that just playing them, their Kirbys are very different styles. Saber tends to approach a lot more uh, with the up B, sometimes with the hammer, while I feel like uh, I feel like Adam d is more comfortable doing a lot of stuff on the ground, and then doing things like the back air games and stuff. Hmm. I'm not so. sure. Uh, I haven't really played them enough recently to really agree or disagree. That's just my observation from this match is that they're playing pretty similar. Yeah, I think I think that they're approaching this matchup similarly. Yeah. But uh, even when, before this, uh, Fraud was on the mic and he was saying how just they they both play Kirby very differently. That they have a different style to it. And like it's weird because in this matchup I feel like they want it. They're both trying to utilize the same tools. Like the things that make Kirby. It's a mirror match. So like you know the good tools that they have are going to be good for both of them. That is true. And these are two guys who both have a ton of experience with Kirby, so... Yeah, that's pretty much all they've ever played except for Fraud. Fraud plays, um... He plays Link, Wario, Bowser sometimes. Yeah. He, he plays, plays a anyone. bunch of characters. He plays, he plays Zelda. Yeah, he, he, plays, he plays anyone that makes me angry, basically. And that's the sign of a good player. I mean, no, it's the characters that make me angry. Do you, where do you think uh, Kirby was on the tier list? I feel like Kirby, like, okay, Kirby's obviously not as good as Kirby was in 3.0. Um, I'd say they're pretty similar. I think that the Kirby nerfs, uh, especially to the up B, uh, hurts Kirby. I think Kirby, while losing the up B, got the down throw. Which is even better than it was in 3.0. Did that that really change that much? Yeah, it changed like moves they release instead of releasing a lot like. Let's say this is the ground. They're releasing right right here. Mm -hmm. It releases like right here. If, if you can uh, see, if you, you can, can imagine Gertie's hands, one was very close to the table and one was a little further up. Yes. Um. They. So that gives the Kirby more time to react to the um, to the tech roller and yeah. all that. Okay. It's really. So it made chasing a lot easier. Yeah. On a lot of characters, Kirby has a really, really free take chase, guaranteed out of down throw every single time. I think it's Kirby has a lot of potent tools. Mm -hmm. Um, Kirby's special or, uh, aerials and. Ground moves may not be like stellar. They're still good. Right. I wouldn't say they're stellar. Just comes down with the with the down B. That, that was really, able to pick up the kill. So Saber goes up 2-0. Nice. Um. More people trying to figure out food orders. What was this? So, what was this? Uh, you were talking about the changes from 3.0 to 3.5 with Kirby. Oh yes, I'm saying. I was saying. Um, all of Kirby's normals are not stellar, but they're still good. Mm -hmm. Um, but all of Kirby's specials are really, really good. Yeah, I mean, I think Kirby's fine. Uh, I was talking to both of them about it, and they they placed him like mid high. Really? Yeah. I'd put I'd put him like high mid, personally. Or mid high. Yeah, mid high. Mid -high. Yeah. I put Kirby's really good. A lot of people sleep on Kirby. I put him. In. Yeah. There's like one or two really good Kirby's like in the world, but they don't really go out much. I mean, 
I mean, like, really, really good characters. So, Fraud is switching to Link here, which didn't have a lot of success. Uh, you know, the last two games weren't bad, but it did seem like Saber was getting ahead of him. Yeah. Where Link stuff might be good enough in this matchup. Like, I feel like uh, Fraud plays a very cookie cutter Link. That is true. But I would agree with that. he does his cookie cutter Link stuff very, very well. I'm not sure how. Ooh. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, he just Kirby sides. Um, I'm not sure how differently you can really play Link than the cookie cutter way and play him very successfully. Mm -hmm. No, I do think the the reason like the cookie cutter Link has a lot of success. It's a good like it's a good way to play the character. But oh man, these tech chases. They're brutal. Like on any character that's not like a floaty, it's brutal. But, you know, nice combo start after the grab. Trying to space him out with the boomerang a little bit. Oh, nice forward air. That, that the, up smash is just so good. Up B just up doesn't B. make sense to me. It, like, you have to just... You, you can't get caught by it in air. It's su super laggy. It has... It's um, pretty slow to start up. And it also, if you just shield it then the rest of the hits don't actually hit me. So, on the ground, it's really not that good. Out of shield, it's not that good. But the angle it sends you at is just it's so It's such deadly. a good edge guarding option. Like, one of my big problems with Link as a character is I feel like that is almost always the best edge guarding option. And I feel like if, if they're on edge guarding maybe, but off stage, I'd say Link has pretty good aerials. Oh, he has good aerials, but there's so many times where, like, that's all you have to do. That's is true. if they're coming from below, like, that's all you have to do. It's they either sweet spot... You can get close enough where they can't sweet spot the ledge, and it will just send them flying. But I've, Link really proven to be good in this matchup right now. Like, we get a, we get a nav dance. That's pretty cool. <laughs> he brought out like, his Tinkerbell. It looks like uh, Rod is really stuffing wow. out how um, Saber approaches. And he, he's really taking the mo he's taking advantage of his grabs, where like anytime he gets a grab, he's following it up. He's getting a combo. He's taking stage control, like right there. Yeah. Just you know, simple damage, able to follow it, uh, finish it off just by throwing, uh, shooting an arrow. Gets a boomerang. There's another grab. Oh, Ooh, just a little too close. floaty. Good di, but yeah. forward air once again, shooting arrows and throwing boomerangs. I don't know if Saber really ever goes for Kirby sides. I mean, he did in the beginning. Of the yeah, game, but most of the I do think I feel like Adam does it a lot more than uh, Saber. And just the up B out of shield. So. That was a good game. It was really close, even so. Within one stop. Every time. Alright, yeah, we can do that. Oh no, I'm, I'm alone on mic? That's scary. Oh boy. Well, stream, let's get cozy. I, I am the only one on mic right now. It <laughs> looks like Rod is going to stay Link. Um, he had a lot of success with that last game, so... We'll see how it plays out. Um, right now, Saber's getting kind of stuffed out by all these projectiles. Even with his really good dash attack, it seems like Rod is really keeping him spaced out. Stuffing on his approaches. I feel like Saber needs to fly with like more pressure against Frog and not letting him get, get a good range where um, Link has a lot of power with his boomerang and bombs. That could have been really dangerous for Link right now. Ooh! That was really nice. I didn't expect that. 
Oh. Clips Frog with the spike on up B, coming down. It actually has a spike. Really potent for edge guarding, and a lot of people don't know that. Up. But do you think Frog would please use it against me multiple times since he is a good player, primarily? Um, both these players right now actually kind of took a hiatus for, for other reasons. They didn't come to our weeklies. Um, for whatever reason. Uh, and I don't know how rusty they, really, they are. I don't know how much they've been playing with them. Who knows? <laughs> Looks like two very nearly bees out of shield. That's what I was saying earlier. Is it's pretty slow shield. I think it's about three frames to get a hitbox out of shield. Not a very good out of shield. There is much better. But uh, Saber gets the clips. Um, clip with his hammer. And. Well, looks like Saber didn't really play the new player very well. So Kirby has a really opposed um, air to ground, ground uh, move, which is his down, down B. While it's not super armor, it has heavy armor, and using it in situations where you're just getting pressured, comboed up to the top of the ceiling, you can just escape by pressing down B. It comes out relatively quickly, but the armor does very well. And it's super fast, has very little ammo. So it has some. You can punch it. But it's really important to Kirby since Kirby's so floaty. Being able to come down here really is important. Right now, we're looking at two stocks to one Saber. Looks like this uh, stage is good for him. Or he's just moved, figured out the matchup a little bit more. I'm not really sure why he would play this. No, no, this is from stage. Okay, that makes more sense. I was about to say, it doesn't really make sense for the Kirby to pick the stage because Kirby is really floaty, but that makes a lot more sense to me now that I figured out. Yeah, you, you know, you know what I mean, sir. You one person. <laughs> Caught off the grab, missed the up B. Um, looks like Frog is really fishing for it. Nice. Nice finisher. And that'll be that in the set. How do you feel about that?